All right, so welcome to another video. Um, yeah, you got it by the title of it. I'm calling out racing with Ryan and uh, Steve with Locked On um, Autosport. So they're gonna be driving in HPD2 at NASA Hyperfest. And two weeks before that, I'm taking Pearl the C6 out to uh, track days. So on the 9th and 10th of May. And uh, yeah, uh, it's a call out. So what are the rules of this call out? So I definitely have more tire and more power, but I also have probably less skill. So I'm gonna call that just a complete even. So my stock power C6 Corvette on some pretty heat cycled uh, 315 square tires versus uh, Ryan and his um, spec, spec three or spec E36, whatever you wanna call it, um, built M3. And then um, locked on Autosport with his uh, with his Honda Civic. So I think I've probably driven there a little bit more than them, but um, I think I think if I spot them, I think if I spot Ryan, um, I'll give Ryan three seconds, and I'll give uh, Steve, I'll give him eight seconds. That's that's the guess. Um, I have no idea if that's too much or too little, but we'll see. We'll see how that goes. So now that we know what the, uh, I guess the call out is, what are we doing it for? Um, yeah, don't really have a good idea on it, but um, if Ryan or Steve wants to suggest something different, I'm going to say on my side, I'm going to put up a uh, one hour of labor onto your car, whether that's swapping tires, changing brake pads, uh, helping on a motor swap, whatever you want. An hour of free labor at your place, uh, getting work done. Um, I don't really have to do much to the car, so yeah, I think that's fair. So for those that are newer videos and um, on, on Ryan's side of things or on Steve's side, uh, what is my car and what has been done to it? So let's go ahead and give a quick overview of that. So I have a 2007 Corvette C6. Um, extremely dirty, but yeah, that's pretty much the extent of it. Uh, I, I digress. Um, I run 18 by 11 uh, square setup on currently 315 by 30 by 18 Nankang CRS, the older uh, compound. Uh, I do have a set of stock tires, but meh, nothing, nothing important there. Uh, on the brake side of things, so I've got a set of uh, TBA 4000 or whatever they were on um, series rotors. So they're just slotted rotors. And I'm running Carbotech XP10 in the front and XP8 in the rear. And everyone keeps questioning if my car actually is stock, but uh, yeah, factory air inlet, factory radiator shroud, factory, blah, 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 blah. Everything in here is factory um, for the most part. Um, I did replace the factory uh, shocks with some factory replacement uh, Bilsteins. Um, I've got Delrin um, bushings on front and rear control arms. That's really not going to help with much except with some feel and taking out some some slop in the uh, the vehicle. I do have a, call it a mild track alignment. So if I was to show, you might be able to see a little bit of my, uh, of my alignment. Again, it's, it's nothing crazy, but it, it is, it is there. Um, tow hooks front and rear, cool, nothing special there. Coming on to the passenger side. So recently put in um, passenger seat bucket and harness. Um, I don't have the driver um, seat in right now, but that will go in later. Brake Krause harness bar back there. Um, and I do have an auto blip. So it makes it easy to 
uh, heel toe downshift, meaning I don't have to heel toe, I just have to downshift. Um, that's really about the extent of what's done to the car. Yeah, so for, for most of it, it's a stock car, uh, just with a little bit bigger tires and then some, some better brake pads. That's really it. So that being said, I think they've got a little bit more going on with their cars. Still doesn't re replace that I have an LS2 uh, motor with whatever amount of horsepower. It's more than both of them, but it's, it's still nothing special. So to help with uh, video, I guess, production or quality, uh, being that my car is stock, you really cannot hear the car's uh, engine noises when on track. If there's anyone else on the track, you cannot hear my car at all. I can't hear my car at all. There have been a couple times where I've definitely run into the rev limiter on the back straight at VIR because four other cars are around and I couldn't hear a dang thing. So I know in videos, my car, you can't really hear much. It's really just the wind noise because I record with my phone on a, um, on a windshield phone holder. So what I'm gonna do with that to help make this, I guess, better and improve is I've got an old GoPro. And yes, I do mean old Hero 2 <laughs> GoPro um, that I've got one suction cup style and a second suction cup style that I still need to figure out which one I want to do, but it's effectively going to go on the bumper just to help pick up some of the actual uh, exhaust noises. So I do have a second GoPro as well. And again, my phone will be on the windshield recording facing forward. That second GoPro, I don't know where I'm going to want to put it. Um, part of me thinks that I'm gonna put it on the outside of the car just for, I don't know, a front viewing uh, of the tire or whatever. I don't really know. I don't really know if I trust the, the GoPro and the mounts to do it. So we'll, we'll see how that one goes. All right, so I'm gonna help justify why I think the times that I've laid out are, uh, are fair. So Ryan drove at Grid Life South um, just recently. So we have his times. I have my times at the same track back in uh, February. So can definitely compare those, granted. I have, I, I had colder weather that weekend, but nonetheless, times are times. Um, and can use that to, to help figure out uh, if it's a fair number or not. All right, so um, here's my justification on why I am spotting the times that I am. So I ran at CMP in February with Ryan and Steve, but um, I do have data there. So end of the, the weekend, my last session um, was largely my, my best times period. Um, and I did a 53-0, and that was my best time ever. Theoretically, with all of my best sectors plus uh, the the previous, I can get down to a 49.8. That's theoretical, not achieved, but that's my best segment from all of the different laps that I did. So, and again, let's just remember that uh, the 53.0 was what my time was. So we can go over to track battle with Grid Life South at CMP 2024. And then in street, um, down here, we've got street rear wheel drive and we have a 48.6. So that's, uh, that's almost four and a half seconds or three and a half seconds faster than, than what I did. So no, it is four and a half. Jeez. Yeah. So, Ryan, with significantly less power and less tire, um, is still able to put down a significantly faster lap at CMP than, than what I was able to do. So that being said, what is a car that, uh, that Ryan has capable of doing? So go over into our uh, Spec 3 at, with NASA at VIR. And these are just all E36s. And they're running 
low teens uh, with a full out race car. Um, but still, low teens. Going into a different uh, race, again, low teens. So call it a 213, 214, somewhere in there, of what a prepped race car with a good driver is able to do. Granted, Ryan, nor I, nor Steve are drivers. We are, uh, we're, we're in the learning phase, right? So if I flip back over to my VAR info, my best ever was this 220.4. Theoretically, from my best segments um, at all of those points, I can string together a 218. So knowing that I can string together a 218, my car is capable of probably 207, 209, somewhere in there. I don't know. Um, but it's, it's capable of a lot more than what I can do, especially with the tires that I have. So based on this, I'm saying, yeah, I'll spot Ryan three seconds. And then uh, Steve, I'll give you eight. That's, that's my wager. Uh, if you think you need something different, uh, drop it in the comments and let me know. So this is roughly a 12 minute video of uh, friends making silly bets with friends. Um, let me know if, uh, if you guys think you need more time or less time or what everything's going to be competitive and, uh, and let's keep the series going. And I do go there two weeks before you, so you will know what the goal is before you get there. So it's not like we're going to be, it's not like I'm going to keep my time uh, secret. So yeah, best of luck and uh, let's see what happens.